Hello, I'm Alice Williams. Dead on time. I like it. Come on in. Come in. Living room, a little kitchen. Oh, no, 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 let's be posh. Galley kitchen. <laughs> Bedroom, bathroom is through there. And that big window faces east, so you get the sun in the morning. So all that top floor would be yours. It's totally private, but I'll show you the rest of the house because you'd be more than welcome to use that as well. Kitchen. Big freezer. You're welcome to use. Do you have a car? No. Well, if you had, I'd have said park it on the driveway. Or in the garage if you want to move the junk. Thank you. But you understand what I'm saying. You'd be renting the flat, but what you'd be getting would be the whole house. Most of the time, I'm not even here, so you'd have it all to yourself. That's, that's if you want the flat, now that you've seen it. I do, yes. Terrific! Terrific. Well, there we are, then. When would it be convenient for me to move in? Anytime. Soon as you like. It's just I have a couple of weeks' holiday from work, so it would be nice to use them. Sure, sure. And what sort of work is that? I work for an accountant, office administrator. Sorry, m maybe I shouldn't have asked. Do you mind me asking? No. Me? I'm a salesman. I sell furniture. Really? Sofas, mainly. I tell you what, let's have a drink. Celebrate, yeah? You'll join me? Thank you. I bet. You're a wine drinker, am I right? Dry white? Please, yes. <laughs> Office administrator. That sounds like Monday to Friday. Well... Well, see, mostly people want to buy sofas at weekends or bank holidays, so I work all sorts of hours. Plus, I go to the gym, so there's that to be fitted in. Do you work out? Not really, no. Well, you don't need to. Oh. You know the percent of people in this country who are overweight? No. 44. 20 years ago, right? Yeah. Your average three-seater sofa was five foot three inches in length. Now, it's six foot six. Because you can't fit your average three people into a five foot three anymore. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> here's to... Oh. I nearly said here's to us, but I wouldn't want you getting the wrong impression. To new beginnings. Yes. Right, to new beginnings. I suppose you'd call it Edwardian, deed say 1905. And if you look at it from here, no, not at me, at the house. Thank you. I think it's, well, a proper house. And it's mine. I'm not sure I can believe it yet, but yeah, there it is. My house. Sorry to disturb you. No. Only I got back from work and saw the van, so I knew you'd moved in. Just wondered if everything was all right. Fine, except I've changed the lock on the door. Changed it? Had it changed, which I should probably have talked to you about first, but, well, it's done now, so... Not a big deal. But you know that this flat is your territory. I would never come up here unless there was a reason. Or you invited me. Which I was thinking of doing, yes. Are you free tomorrow night? Well, I could be. Just, I thought, a little celebration. I could make supper for the two of us. I was coming upstairs and suddenly I thought I'm in the wrong house. You know why that was? Why? Cooking smells. This house, you don't normally get cooking smells. I'm afraid it's going to be another half hour. Oh, it's no problem. So, how was your day? Oh, hard on the feet. Hey, when did you last see a salesman sitting down? No, People I... People don't realise selling is hard on the feet. What's also hard is having to smile all the time. Hard on the face. <laughs> Can be. Oh, and I've been stealing from you. Yeah? These flowers. Got them from the garden. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, left to me, that would have lived and died out there. Men just don't think of these things. Have you ever been married? Once. Did your wife live here with you? Here? No, no. No, no, this was way back. No. You ever been married? No. Good decision. Good decision. You know how long my marriage lasted? Six weeks. And then she took every penny we had and did a runner. You know what I did? 
What? Nothing. Cut me losses, learn me lesson. But your wife didn't ever live in this house? No, never. It's just something one of your neighbours said. Yeah? I was in the garden cutting these flowers and there was this woman in the garden next door and we got talking. I've, I've never had much to do with neighbours. Anyway, she asked me, had I bought the house? Had you bought it? I said, no, I haven't. I've just taken the upstairs flat. And she said, oh, so Denise is back, is she? Denise is back? That's right. So when you said you'd been married... No, no, oh, no I, I understand. Yeah, except I don't, because... Denise who? Well, I told her there was no Denise living here that I knew of. Or, or me, see. So if she is here, you know, she's keeping herself to herself. She said, well, that was strange, because Denise not only used to live here, she used to own the house. Own it? That's what she said. Well, she's... You know, let's be polite and say confused. Here. Thank you. I told her, as far as I was aware, the house was owned by you. As far as I'm aware, too. But she said, no, you were Denise's tenant and you had this flat. <laughs> I said, I thought she was making a mistake, but she said, no, I was. It's amazing. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention it. Well, no, I'm glad you have. Because the last thing I want is to you to start wondering what's going on. Maybe I should have a word with, with her, this neighbour. Find out where she's got this fairy story from. Hmm. Well, I'd better just give that casserole a stare. Hey, maybe she's known for it. You know, local nutcase. How did she seem? It's fairly normal. Well, let me know if she says anything else, won't you? I mean, if she said that to you, who else has she said it to? Exactly. That's why I thought I should tell you. This is the back garden. Bit of a mess, I know, but... Well, I think it has potential. I mean, it's a decent size. Just needs a bit of TLC, which it's going to get. This garden and the house, I'm just going to transform. I'm just going to put so much of myself into it. <laughs> You're smiling. Well, OK. But you see if I don't. Martin? Oh. I'm in the kitchen. Hello. Oh, good. Using the house, just like I said, that's that's good. Not entirely. I wanted a word. No, what, the nutty neighbour hasn't been at it again, has she? She hasn't, no. Though, what she told me is true, isn't it? What? This isn't your house, is it? What? Why, why are you... I've you... been talking to the land registry, you know, that records the ownership of all land and property. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And they said this house belongs to someone called Denise Thornton. Oh, Denise, again? Either you tell me the truth or I am leaving right now, this minute. So? Um, I was going to tell you anyway. You admit? I admit, I admit. The house really belongs? Yes, yes, to Denise Thornton, yes. So all that you told me last night was a pack of lies? You caught me by surprise. Did I? <laughs> Do you, do you want a drink? No, thank you. Look, I'm sorry, it was stupid. I apologise. So, would you now like to tell me just why you've conned me into moving into a flat that isn't yours? I didn't con you. And where is this, Denise? Anyway. Good question, good question. OK, so, a year ago, a bit, bit more, um, I moved into the flat upstairs, your flat, and Denise was living here. She was the landlady, I was the tenant, and then... One day, about eight, nine months ago, she disappeared. Meaning? She just wasn't around anymore. Which, OK, for a while I didn't pay any attention to. Her house, she's entitled to come and go as she chooses. And more weeks pass, and still I don't see any sign of her. Nobody inquired about her? No. What about her job? I mean, did, did she Well, have... she was, um, uh, what do you call it, a freelance window dresser for big stores and, and yes people did ring leaving messages and post came for her do you want to see that but you didn't do anything like what go to the police well what business was it of mine whether she was here or not and anyway one morning i opened the door police have arrived they've come to me looking for her asking did i know where she was i say i have no idea they say can we have a look around and, and do you know what they found what Nothing. 
including they didn't find a passport, so we all agreed, most likely, that she'd gone off abroad somewhere. And that's it, that's the truth. So you thought you'd pretend the house was yours? Oh, and well, make some money in the process? But, no, put yourself in my no, shoes. No, thank you. Well, I'm living in the flat, but the rest of the house is empty. And, and yes, bit by bit, I start to, you know, spread out, occupy the space available. Who wouldn't? Lots of people. Did you keep on paying rent? Well, see, I'm thinking, what if she never comes back? Then I'd have been paying rent to nobody. And the other thing I thought was maybe if I stopped the payments, then that was a way of making her get in touch. So you stopped them? I did. And what happened? Nothing. So you have the run of the house and you're not paying any rent, but then you had an even better idea. Why not move out of the flat altogether? Then you could rent it to somebody else. Look, look. <sighs> you like the flat, yeah? I did. So where's the harm? What, you think I can just say nothing and carry on living here illegally? Well, you, you, you say illegal. Yes. Well, what's illegal? You, you pay me rent. Me living in somebody else's house when that somebody else doesn't even know I'm here. So find her and tell her, if you can. In, in the meantime, well, OK, 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 stop paying me the rent. Whatever else I do, I certainly intend to do that. Fine. If, if... I stay tonight. That doesn't mean I'm agreeing with all this. No, no, it, it, it means... I'm thinking about it. Good. And I still don't like the way you lied to me. Which was a very stupid thing to do and it won't happen again. Martin? Hello? Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm coming down. You all right? I've been thinking and I've decided, OK, let's just leave things as they are for now. I'll stay. Good decision. Not sure about that. Just, I can't face looking for another flat. And why should you? So, OK, cancel the direct debit and you don't make any more payments. Well, not to you, but I am going to open a separate account and each month pay the rent into it. Then when Denise does come back, I can say to her, look, there it is, I was keeping it for you. Oh, let me show you something. In here. What? I told you, didn't I? I've kept all the mail. Well, except for the junk stuff. I threw that away. But anything for her personally, it's here. Yes. Eight months worth. What's the video? Oh, yeah, now, that was already here. So, um, one day I put it into the machine to see what was on it. When, well, I'll, I'll show you. Aren't you going to be late for work? Well, no, it doesn't matter. Nobody buys sofas in the morning. Right. Now, watch this. That's her there, that's Denise. Who took this? No idea. But it wasn't me, I can promise you that. She's attractive, don't you think? Mm, I suppose, yeah. She didn't seem to have a man hanging around, though. Or a woman, for that matter. Wait, wait, she says something. Anyway, here. that's the outside. So now we're going to go round to the front again and then have a look inside. You know, all the things I've got wrong. And I know I have, that yes. This house, I just know, is absolutely right and isn't going to run out on me like certain people I could mention. Come on. Follow anyway, me. Right. I'd better get off. I Tape, post, all yours. Oh, oh and oh, I'm glad you're staying. Staying for now. <laughs> for now, yeah. 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 See I'll you tonight. Right. Bye. Bye. Follow me. This is the view from my bedroom window. At least I think it's going to be my bedroom. Might try all the bedrooms. See which I like best. Might use different bedrooms for different days of the week. Might do anything because this whole house, every little bit of it, is mine. <laughs> and I'm going to be happy here. I hope. Well, I am. Yes. So I answer the door and it's the postman and he says, Denise Thornton. And what do I say? I say, yes. So he gives me this registered letter and I sign for it and straight away I feel like I've committed some terrible crime. So why do it? Because, I, I don't know, because it's what he was expecting me to say. What did you sign? What, what name? I signed Denise Thornton. So that's definitely a crime, isn't it? Well, small one. But I haven't finished. 
Because then, then I opened the letter. Hey. And why did I do that? Because the person had given it me and I'd signed for it, so I was entitled. Which I know doesn't make sense, but anyway, anyway, it's what I did. You are Denise, do you know that? You have turned yourself <laughs> into Denise. Wish I had. The letter was from a firm of solicitors. Yeah? Telling her, well, well listen, it's, it's here. Dear Miss Thornton, we are writing to you as executors of the will of Mrs Susan Lawrence, formerly of number three, the Roe Guildford. As you may be aware, Mrs Lawrence is recently deceased. You are named as a beneficiary in her will. We would be grateful if you could contact us when we will be happy to furnish you with further details. Right. Sounds like... I, I don't know, like she's been left something. Definitely. What if they don't hear from her? What will they do? No idea. I can't believe they'll just leave it at that. What if it's a large amount? A fortune? I wonder, should we contact them and say she's not here, but, but then they'll know we've opened the letter. Or the other thing we could do... What? You are Denise. No! I'm not going to impersonate Denise to try and get hold of whatever it is she's had left to her. No! Sometimes life deals you a winning hand, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, and I've said no. You don't play it. You spend the rest of your life wondering just what might have happened. And can you imagine what would happen if something went wrong? Then I'd be facing serious charges. Embezzlement, conspiracy, fraud. When you say impersonating, see, see, what strikes me about this letter, they don't actually know Denise, so you wouldn't have to impersonate in the sense of acting like her, just be yourself. No. A anyway, if they don't know her, they'd want evidence that I was her. Her birth certificate or whatever. Not a problem. They're all in a desk drawer. Birth certificate, driving licence, medical card, take your pick. I should never have shown you the letter. The way to do it would be to ring them first. Make sure they don't know you personally and also make sure there's not going to be anybody else there from the family and find out just who this is that's died. Is it an aunt or what? Why wasn't I at the funeral? You've been travelling. All right, suppose... Suppose I do all this and go and see them and it turns out all I've inherited is a, a family heirloom that's worth 50p in a car boot sale. So you're 50p up? And I've risked going to prison for it. And what if it's a lot of money? I mean, a lot. Which I think it will be. Oh, you know. I just have this feeling. They're not going to give it me in cash. They're going to give me a cheque. Made out to Denise Thornton. So you use the identification that we have, birth certificate and that. Open up a bank account in the name, put the cheque in, let it clear and then move the money on, close the account. And I do all that? Yeah. And then Denise comes back? Then we run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just don't think that she will. And neither do you, or you'd have never opened the letter. You okay? Can I have a drink, please? Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. I have never been so scared in my entire life. Hey, hey, no, it's over. You're home. Relax. I almost didn't go in. I got to the door and thought, I, I can't do it. But then I thought, if I don't go in, they're going to wonder who called them and, and start suspecting something's wrong. So you went in? <sighs> yes. And? They were so considerate. So nice. Did they ask to see the birth certificate? I hardly looked at it. And even then they were apologising because it was something they had to do. Then they sat me in a big chair, gave me tea in a china cup and said, your aunt was very fond of you, always talking about you. I said she was a wonderful lady and I now only wish I'd spent more time with her. Brilliant. <sighs> so you want to know how much? Go on. Well, she had savings and a house and investments, and insurance, the grand total of which, and this is after tax, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. Grand total is a cool 
one million six hundred thousand pounds. So again, one million six hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> I said I, I didn't realise she was so wealthy. They said, oh, it often happens. People don't realise themselves just how large their estates are going to be. One million six hundred grand. But I don't get it yet. The will has to go through probate. Which will take... Six to eight weeks. Then what? They send you a cheque? Yeah. We can wait six to eight weeks. Have to. OK. Then it's check-in, money out and... What, split it? 50-50, yeah? No. I'll give you two hundred thousand. Two hundred. Two hundred. I get two hundred grand while you keep nearly a million and a half. I'm the one who's done it. I'm the one risking years in prison. I gave you the whole idea. Six hundred. I'll settle for six hundred grand. You keep the million. I'll settle for six hundred. Maybe we should talk about this when we get the money. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying? You're not thinking of disappearing, huh? Like Denise disappeared, you're not thinking you might do the same, take the money with you. No. Because by the sound of it, you'd really like to keep the full amount. You... You really think it should all be yours, yeah? I'm saying we talk about it when it gets Because here. if you did disappear... I won't. No, I, I could just go to the police and blow the whole thing. You could. Not that I want to, it's the last thing I want to. And The only way this could go wrong is if we fall out. Anyway, excuse me, I'm exhausted. Hey, well, no, no, you... You don't want to do something, a meal out to celebrate, perhaps? Not tonight, no. No. Martin! Martin, will you let me pass, please? Thank you. We're in this together. Good night. What I particularly like is this hallway. And if we now look up, the stairs, which are... Well, all right, not grand exactly, but a, a proper staircase. So ignore the tatty carpet, that's going to go like lots of other things, including bad habits, like thinking too much. Alice? Alice? You awake? What do you want? Just have a talk. Let me in. No! Go away! Please? It's the middle of the night. I'm not opening the door, so just... Just go away. I just think it's unfair, what you've offered. When I'm as much a part of this as you, Alice, are you listening? No! When you moved in, I thought, oh, she's a nice lady. But now, what with the money and everything, you know what? You are worse than I am. Sorry if I've disappointed you. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm disappointed. Just I don't know what you're going to do next. What I'm going to do next? I'm going to leave this house if you don't go away and leave me alone. It's only fair I get half the money. You want me to leave? No, 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 please, no. I don't want you to leave. You know, I think about you a lot, about when I'll see you and, and what I'll say to you. You know? Do you want me to stay? Of course I do. Then go to bed. Alice, I'm not a bad person, not really. You don't think I am, do you? You better when you've not been drinking. Right, well, I'm going to stop. After tonight, no more drinking. Good night. Alice. What? You're not leaving, are you? No. First of all, I apologise for last night. I was way, way out of order. And drunk. It won't happen again. Hope not. And secondly... Something has happened today while I was at work. What? Denise rang me. 
Denise? This afternoon. Denise that owns this house? That owns this house and that has just inherited 1,600,000 from her aunt, yes. This isn't a joke? Nope. Um, wh what did she say? Not a lot. Just wanted to let me know that she's back. From where? Where's she been? I don't know. Actually, what she said was that she was on her way back. Said that the reason she was ringing... Well, she was coming to the house, but she hadn't got a key, so she wanted to be sure I was in. Coming back now? No, not now. Don't worry, she's not going to walk in. Tomorrow night. <sighs> I, d I don't know what to say, except... I, I suppose we should be grateful we haven't actually had the money yet. Grateful? Well, I mean, she can have it. We can tell her what's happened, say we're sorry, and hope she won't go to the police. So she gets all the money? Yes. And we get nothing? Well... Only, um, there is another option. What? We get rid of her. Get rid of? What do you mean? We kill her. <laughs> You're not serious? Just saying it's an option. Well, except, no, it isn't. OK. Of course it isn't. No, no, all I'm saying, as far as our aunt solicitor is concerned, you are, Denise, you are. Which makes her dispensable. Well, I still don't know whether you're serious. Getting more serious by the minute. You're talking about murdering her? Yep. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I, I won't. Why not? Because I... I can't believe we're even talking about it. Denise disappeared months ago. Anybody going to miss her, they've already missed her. Anybody going to investigate her disappearance, they've already investigated. You might say she's already departed this life. But has now returned to it. Only you and me know that. How do you know? How do you know she hasn't told lots of people she's coming back? I don't know, but... Well, then. If she has, and then she disappears, what are they going to say? She's up to her old tricks, disappeared before, disappeared again. Even so, I, I could never be involved in something like that. It's... You wouldn't have to be. I'd do it. You don't even have to be in the house. Go out somewhere, go and see a film. You really honestly think you could? I think I could, yeah. Because what, you've done it before? You've asked me, do I think I could? Answer's yes. Ever since she's called, I've thought of nothing else. Though... What? It would change things. Between us. I'd want half the inheritance, 800 grand. So, I'd be paying you to kill her? With money that isn't yours, which I think should, you know, take the sting out of it. How would you do it? Well, I don't know yet. I'd have to think about it. But it wouldn't involve you. So then, how would I know you'd done it? Because... Well, for one reason, you wouldn't hear from her again. What, do, you, do you want me to cut her head off and present it to you on a plate? Yes. Well, right, fine, I'll do that. I'm going to open up another bottle. Not for me. I didn't say it was for you. This is a joke, isn't it? No. You, you're just waiting for me to say yes, do it, and then you'll... It's not a joke. I'm saying tomorrow night, you go out, enjoy yourself. When you come back, the problem will have gone. Gone where? Where? What will you do with her? With the body? You don't have to worry about that. But that's where it all goes wrong, isn't it? The disposing of the body. You, you read stories in the newspapers. That's, that's where it always goes wrong. Because the times it goes right, the newspapers don't know about it. You've got to trust me. Like I'm trusting you not to run away with the money. What time is she coming? Seven o'clock. What if she's just calling by to check the house, OK? And But then she's going off on her travels again, so she'll be gone when the check comes and we'll have been worrying about nothing. Then it's her lucky night. You let her go? Sure. I'll let her go. I haven't even moved in, but already this feels more like home than any of the other places I've had. Which haven't been mine, I know. Maybe that's the difference. <laughs> Maybe if I'd had somewhere of my own before, then my life might have been less of a disaster. 
Alice, it's quarter to seven. You need to get out of here. Suppose she's not on her own. Suppose she has someone with her. Then... I don't know. Oh, she's told someone she was coming here. I don't know. Just leave it to me. You've got to get out of here. What, whatever happens, I agree. You should have half the money. Thank you. Which I should have said from the start. Alice, go. Go on. Get out. I'm going. Go. I'm going. Oh, I want to say good luck, but... I... Go. Go. Go on. OK. In here. What? What happened? You really want me to tell you? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. She arrived just after seven. Apologised for how she'd gone off without telling me. Asked me how I was. I asked her... Had she come back to stay, or was she just passing through? And she said that she'd had enough of travelling and she was back to stay. So? I did it. How? You really want to know? Yes. She was sitting over there, we were talking, and then I went round behind her, I had this cord... Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. her neck and I strangled her. Did she...? Fight. Wouldn't you? Yeah, she thought. Then what? What did you do with the body? I got rid. How? Why do you have to know every last damn thing? What's the matter with you? Probably the same that's the matter with you. I bought some polystyrene from work, I wrapped her up, I put her in the car boot... And then...? And then I drove her to a quarry that I know that's filled with water. Had some weights that I brought from work, I fastened them to the body and... Well, it wasn't easy, but I got her out of the car boot and... Into the water. No one saw you? No. Did she have any luggage with her? A bag. Where's that? Same place she is. In the quarry? Yeah. Which is where? Why? What? What does it matter? And her, her body, it, it sank? Sank, yes. And... What if it, you know, comes back to the surface? They sometimes do. I've told you, I weighted it down. Tell me where this quarry is, and tomorrow I'll go and have a look, make sure. No need. Well, how can you say that? Just tell okay, me Okay, I'll go, I'll go. I've got all day. I'd rather go myself. No, no, why? Well, isn't it better, rather than risk someone seeing you go back there? No one will see me. You don't know. Okay, suppose you go. Yes. And she's there, floating. What are you going to do? Huh? You're there by yourself, what? Well, what would you do? Well, whatever. It's going to take a big, you know, physical effort. I'll go. And now, please, just... I need to rest. I just... I need to try and forget about everything. Alice? Yes? I'm in the kitchen. Absolutely soaked. No, sit down. Have a drink. Coffee or anything? No, thank you. I've got to get changed out of these clothes. I went back to the quarry. And? You were right. She was there in the middle, floating. No. Still wrapped in the polystyrene, but floating. So... What? Well, I get out and I have a look around. I'm wondering what do I do? Just leave her and, and, and I hope she'll sink? Don't worry, I, I, I didn't. What I did was... Well, I had to get into the water, which was just about the coldest water ever, and I thought, never mind her, it's going to kill me. But I managed to grab her and I tow her to the side, but then, you know, of course, it's a quarry, it's not like a beach. It's rocks going straight up, so I have to climb. And I'm freezing, and my feet are getting cut, and, and I'm petrified somebody's going to turn up, but I have to climb up the rocks, and, and, and I carry her. And... But you did it? Yeah. 
put her in the boot of my car and I just got the hell out of there. No one saw you? No. And what have you done with her? Well, that was the problem. I didn't want to take her somewhere similar and risk the same thing happening, so I, I thought... Do I bury her? Do I torch the car with her inside? I couldn't decide, so... Well, anyway, what I've ended up doing is... Come on, follow me. I thought for the time being, she could stay here in this cupboard. For one thing, I thought you might like to meet her. <laughs> say hello to Denise. Only don't expect her to answer because she doesn't say much. Never did. It's a dummy. Well, you may be right. Yeah. Sounds odd to me. You think that's funny? <laughs> Why not? It's sick. Sick and perverted. And killing her wasn't. I think you're mad. You know that. I think you're deranged. See, I got the dummy from the cellar. You know, I told you Denise was a window dresser. Well, she had this in the cellar. And you really thought I'd find that funny? No, no, don't think I did. No, of course, the biggest joke would be if Denise actually was there, floating like a butterfly. Maybe one of us really should go and see. You didn't? No, no. But what I did, instead... You want to know? What? I rang the solicitors. The ones who sent you the letter. The ones you went to see. Why? I had this feeling. Call it intuition, if you like. A feeling something wasn't right. About the will? About you. The way you'd gone along with everything. First, when you found out the house wasn't mine. Then to get your hands on somebody else's inheritance. Even murder! You didn't seem to mind that. And you, such a nice lady. Office administrator. So I started thinking, what's really going on here? I mean, really going on. So you rang the solicitors. I said, could I speak to the person dealing with the estate of Mrs Susan Lawrence? That was her name, wasn't it? The old doll? Yes. Yeah. Strange thing was, no one had heard of her. Didn't know what I was talking about. Well, all right, maybe that's what they told you, because what, what did it have to do with you anyway? Who did you say you were? I said I was a nephew, and I had some questions about the will. They asked me to wait while they checked. Came back. Sorry, sir. No one in the practice knows anything about a lady of this name, and they certainly aren't handling her will. Must have been some mix-up. Which is what I thought. So what I did, just to make sure, went into work, into the showroom. Do you know why? Ask me why. Why? Nearly all of the sofas we sell are on credit. So what we have is a direct line to a credit reference agency. So I run a check on Susan Lawrence at number three, the road, Guildford. And you know what? No such person. Not now, there isn't. She's dead. So I go on the internet and I find number three, the row, Guildford, and what did I do? I drove there. You actually went? I actually went. Nice little cottagey sort of house. The kind of lady on her own might well choose. I make a call on the neighbours. Very nice people. But then you'd know that. You'd know because number three, the row, Guildford, is your house. Isn't it? Jason. Yes. What the hell is going on? You're so clever, you tell me. Well, it doesn't take a genius. For starters, Auntie Susan, well, she doesn't exist, did she? Hmm? Never did, right? Right. So, no inheritance, not a penny. No. And you sent the letter to yourself. I did. So now you were going to tell me why. Why did you do this? Why did you put us through this farce? You're asking me that after the performance you gave last night when you told me all about how you'd killed this woman, Denise, then disposed of her body, then today gone and collected it and brought it back here, only it turns out to be a dummy. Well, of course it would be, because there never was a body, was there? There never was any Denise coming back here last night. No. Well, was there? No. Because she never even came to she the didn't. house. No, no. Never called you. No. It was all a, a way of getting a bigger share of the money you thought I was getting. Could have been. You know it was. Yeah, OK. You admit it. Why not? So I told you a few lies. Played a trick on you with the dummies. No harm done. Nobody's hurt. And I could also say, like kids do, you started it. Why, Alice, huh? Why did you, you come here? Why? Why? Because... I'm Denise's sister. No. Oh, yes. Yes. See, I've been here before. I was the one holding the video camera. 
That was the day she bought the house. And we came here and she wanted me to video it to show our mother. So where is she? Huh? You're her sister, where is she? I think you know that. Me? No, how would I? She told me when you moved in here what you were like, making moves on her so she thought she'd ask you to leave. In fact, she was going to do that. She told me. She decided and was going to tell you that night when you came home, the day after I stopped hearing from me her. Me too? Everybody stopped hearing from her. I informed the police and they called here. And found nothing. So I employed a private detective who also found nothing. Right. Except he did inform me you were renting out the flat, so I thought I'd take it and I'd see what I could find out for myself. And you found out I'm as big a liar as you are. So now what? Are you going to tell the police that? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think they'll be all that interested. What I'm going to tell them is about the kind of person you are. How you talk about killing people and disposing of bodies. Because you conned me into it. It's what you wanted. I just said what you wanted. And you were so convincing. Why? Because you killed her. No, no. Then dispose of it in your, in your quarry. I think that should be pretty easy to find, don't you? It doesn't exist. Oh, but I think it does. And you think, you really think that's where you're going to find your sitter's body? Yes. Then you're crazy. You tell me I'm crazy, you're the one that's crazy. Well, I think we should just let the police decide wait, that. Wait, Alice, wh Alice, where are you going? <laughs> and I'll get back to you. Get Alice, away from me! No, no, Alice, just... No, I just... I just want to talk to you! Get off me! Alice, just... Will just, we just listen, please? No. Alice, it's me, Denise. I'm calling you at home because your mobile switched off. I'm sorry I've been out of touch for so long. Ambulance, please, and then police. Only, I just had to get away. You know what I get like. Police? Yes, there's been an accident and someone's been killed. But also, he, he's the one that killed my sister. Even the house that I thought I'd be happy in. That only seemed one more thing to worry about. But I should have let you know, and I'm sorry. I'm saying that the man that's dead killed my sister. Anyway, the important thing is, I'm all right now, and I'm coming home, and hope to be seeing you really, really soon. Martin was played by Lee Ingleby, Alice by Joanne Froggart, and Denise by Becky Hindley. The Disappearance was written by Peter Worley and directed in Manchester by Pauline Harris. Mm -hmm.